Hello guys and welcome to a new Stir Division 2 video today by me Vulcan. In this one I have for you a 2 versus 2 on Brest West and I'm going to be using the second Panzerlosch with the balanced deployment type. This is another of the new divisions available in the upcoming Blood Feud in Transylvania DLC. I'm also going to be joined by the Knife Girl on my team who is using the 25th Hadosh Day. And we're up against Protoss and Green, who are using the 9th Infanterie and the 8th Cavalleria Portata. So all of these new divisions available in the upcoming DLC. Let's have a quick look at what's going down here. So we've got some MG34s deploying in these buildings further up. We've got some Modlovis to help protect the left side with the Feldelito Yarora in the church to provide some recon information but we're going to be engaging some Kalashi here with some Modlovis. I've also got some 75mm AT guns. These do have some really good HE damage, 2.2 damage. Very nice, good fire support. I've got my Command Panther, the Ace Panther. Then I've got a Toldy 2 moving forward to provide extra command for the Modlovis. Panzer 4, Panzer 3M recon for me. And I got a Nimrod on the right hand side with the Toldi 2 coming up to provide leadership for the Modlovis and the Mod Akasok. And then the Modlovis on the right hand side currently being pinned down by the ZB 53, but going to be bringing in the ME 210 early on to try and bomb that with its two 250 kilogram bombs. 75mm AT gun also going to be coming up. Get a nice kill there onto the AV Horch. And I noticed these mortars firing, so I want to take them out as well. And luckily for me, I've got a second ME. 210 in phase A that's going to be going for those 60mm mortars. Managed to take out one of the T4s as well. This T4 commander is going to be trying to run into cover. Does end up taking a hit from one of my tanks. He's just trying to get that out of the way. Managed to make it fall back. It's going to retreat into cover. So I get the bomb onto these mortars. And I've also managed to find my way onto these mortars, which are unprotected. The Modlovis here, able to move up, get their MG42 on target, take out one. We'll be taking out the second shortly. So I make short work of Protoss's mortars early on, and that was really, really helpful. I've also managed to pin down both of these Pianelli, so the Mod Arkasok able to move up here. And I've got the Nimrod really close up to provide that 40mm fire onto those infantry squads. Look, Kruzzi, we managed to get the better of my mod Lovis with the help of the T4 commander, so going to have to try and fall those back at some point. But I have managed to get into the right-hand side here with the mod Lovis now that that MG's gone, so that's good. Anaconda de Flacare, going to be engaging the mod Akasok, but I do manage to get the HE grenade off, so going to be retreating from the rest of that flamer and uh, get the kill there as I run away, because cool guys don't look at explosions. Are you ready, eight? Going to be flying overhead, providing me with plenty of recon information early on. My poor Panzer III, though, going to be bumping into a Pack 38, and whilst the pa Panzer III does have some serious accuracy, it manages to miss its first shot, so that wasn't very helpful. It manages to also miss its second shot, and the Pack 38 makes short work of my Panzer III. Panzer IV comes over, takes care of the recruits for me. Model of this, in the meantime, going to be moving on and my panther moves into range of the pack 38 to take that out instead so now what i've got to do is i'm going to try and secure this flag we've got to get rid of the infantry in here protoss does bring up some aa you can see he's got a bunch of these 25 mil harsh guests now in and that's going to do some serious damage to my recon plane fortunately that it doesn't die bump into another two-man flamer squad 75 mil is going to help take that out Oldie was trying to get its machine gun on target, but that turret's really slow. Meanwhile, on the left, Knife Girls got off to a reasonable start. Does have access to the Hegi Lovis. Pretty nasty loss there, though, as the Panzerstrack takes out the Stug. These are mountain troops, and they come with Molotovs. Really nice squads, actually. They're definitely lacking AT after losing that Stug. Only one AT gun there, and then this. Stug left. BF-109 going to be going down though. Again, interesting to see BF-109s on the side of the Allies. PNA versus Mod Akasach. 
60 mil mortars being used once again by Prodos. He's brought up a couple more. These are decent in availability and they're cheap. So he's trying to use those to take care of my 75 mil AT gun on the right hand side. My Mort Akasok do go down to the enemy PNL, but I got two more on the way to help clear this out. Meanwhile, the Kalarashi trying to peek out, but do end up getting a little bit of a machine gun fire to the face. Some more Mort Akasok on the way. Another Panzer IV coming to accompany my Panther. And so just kind of waiting for the next move. Once these can arrive and I manage to get into here and clean this out, I can defend this relatively well and then push across to this tree line where I can then start to contest like this flag as well. Currently it's 12 to 12. I've just brought in a couple of these ME210s to help in the mid. So looking for the Venatore de Gada and the Carrache. I want to get the most use out of these ME210s as I can before more AA comes in because Protoss has bought those three AA pieces on the right so I was looking for somewhere else to use these ME210s and that certainly seemed to do the trick. Toldi does find some machine gun fire onto the enemy infantry there but shot coming in going to be doing the damage. Ford V8 sedan comes around the corner and gets absolutely wrecked. This was actually Protoss's commander, but I'm going to assume that he accidentally ordered that to move forwards rather than like an infantry squad or something had some had the wrong unit selected when he gave that order and it kind of suicided. So he does lose his commander early on and that's really, really helpful for me. The Motakasok now cleaned out this tree line. We're going to be pushing onwards to the next tree line, Panzer 3M. Now getting hit by a Pack 38 though. And this starts to look familiar. These Panzer 3s, whilst they do have recon, it is only high optics, not ex like exceptional optics or very high optics like the Feldarito Yoror. Like these guys have very high optics. So not able to see that Pack 38 in time. Meanwhile, Hotchkiss there. Fire positioning. I think Protoss was just kind of like accidentally fire positioning other stuff than his mortars. The Panzer IV going to be engaging the Kalarashi. We've got these low already so able to take both of those out. Panzer IV, or sorry, Panther and just to get a shot onto the T4 commander as well. This is the second shot. Looking for the third. And I managed to get it just in time. Should have got the second shot really, but <laughs> I'll take the third. So now we're 14 to 10. I've got off to a very good start against uh, Protoss's 9th Infanterie. And I'm pushing across here to get into this building so that I can secure this flag going forwards. I could see no match for the Motakasok. The next thing I really want to do is take out the mortars further back. Get on top of those, take them out. Meanwhile, on the left, though, Green's starting to bump into some issues. AB Hodge going to be hitting his Lovis pretty nicely. And his Hegi slowly but surely getting taken out. Under a bit of pressure, still controls the hill, though, and that's the important part on that left side. So Motakusok is going to be having one move up through the heavy cover. Got one moving up through the light cover. Nimrod on the right hand side. Bit of a mistake on my part. Let it die to the pack 38. I'm not entirely sure why I had that attack moving to the right hand side. I might have also made a bit of a mistake there. But the 60mm mortar is going to be firing away onto my Mod Lovis. I'm going to try and dodge that mortar fire as best I can, so I jump out of the building, but one of them does land directly on target. But I find them again. This time I'm just going to try and run them down. I also bump into the 25mm Hotchkiss, so I want to take that out. There are a couple of tack arms here though. These are another one of the new units. I'm going to keep trying to show you them, but they keep disappearing. Anyway, they are equivalent to like SU-76s in power. So they could sneak up on my Panzer IV and shoot it in side armor. 
But my motto is like they bump into a couple of recruits. Put the Tornado de Care. Get forced back. ME210 coming in with the bombing strike onto the attack arms. Going to be forced back by the enemy AA. My Panther though. Trying to clean up one of them. More units on the way. Got an MG34 for the right hand side coming. Another Motaka Sok that I can maybe use to push into this tree line. If I can secure this tree line, that'd be really good because it definitely secures that flag. But over on the left hand side, unfortunately, Knife Girl has lost the flag here for the time being. So only 13 to 11, not 14 to 10. 14 to 10, a bit more comfortable. We're still in a good position overall. And the Rokutsi pushing through the heavy cover here. Just going to be taken out quite nice and easy by the Mod Arkosok. I do need to be careful of the Vonatari de Care though, which do have their own HE. So. Get a bit of MG fire from the Mod Lovis. Forces back his Vonatari de Care. I've also got a Pantelo Toro Raketa coming in. These are. Just Panzer Strike squads looking to kill any TACAMs and stuff that are left here. You can see uh, that's the burning wreck of my Toldi. And that's the way the bombs came in. So, Rokutsi, do you get taken out? 60mm mortar still putting down fire towards my Mod Lovis. My MG34 returning fire onto the 60mm. That is one thing about the 60mm mortars is they do have limited range, it's only 1,800 meters. In this case, like he could permanently be out of range, but it's just where I've managed to push quite far up. This Panzer IV does get taken out, enemy AT gun in there, does the trick. Now we have Green pushing in the middle, the Vunatore de Garde. Very scary squads, fanatical. Romanian squads. They have a decent amount of firepower at range with the double ZB thirty and the two and well and the six ZB twenty fours. But primarily the Venetore de Garda are a really like versatile squad because they can put down like say fire at range, but the the four MP twenty eights at close range also put out a lot of DPS. And since they're fanatical, they can't really get surrendered by other close range infantry units, particularly things like Flamers or other HE units, so yeah, very versatile. And but those are backed up by the Kalarashi Moto, of course. And these guys are very strong. The two MG 43s there, and they also have the Orita for the close range engagement, which is a really nice submachine gun. Now the Reshitsa going to fall back on the right hand side that was trying to get the better of my panthers I probably got spotted before it could fire because of all the, the infantry that I got pushed further up I'm going to be bringing up some infantry to the mid now to help support against green here so a couple of uh, Mod Lovis, Mod Akasok, I've got the Lovash Fezdalitok and the MG34 making sure that I have the recon that I need that can cover the open ground and then the Modakasar can deal with anything that's in the uh, close cover and the Modlovis 44M can deal with stuff at range. So Vonantare de Kare going to be taken out by the Mod uh, Modakasar there and then Modakasar on the left side also getting a surrender Vonantare de Kare and again engaged at range. That's not the engagement he wants. He's bringing in these Vonantare de Kare because not only do they of course have Panzer Treks, but they also have the HE and multiple submachine guns. So they are pretty deadly at close range. But at this range where I can use my rifles and the MG42 and he's only firing back with like two rifles, that's a really bad engagement. So you've got to make sure you micro these really well. But there's not really much you can do here because I have the range that I need. I do lose one of my units there before it unloads. MG34 here getting set up on the hill to try and fire down at some of this Kalashi Moto. Maintaining the 13 to 11 though so far. 24 minutes till victory. Motakosok are getting the MG42 onto the 25 mil. I do manage to take that out and the more 25 mils I kill the better because it opens up the opportunity for bombing with my ME410s. So that's what I was hoping. 
off map is going to be coming in from Protoss though, using the 105 mil off map here. It's going to be harassing my Motakasok, the Modlovis, the Panzer Fours, the Toldi. Kind of actually going to be engaging the Lovash Faderitok. Now my Panzer IV is trying to get shot onto this T4. I've got to be careful with that engagement because mine got damaged by the off map. So I'm trying to manage that engagement and get the first shot off. I managed to get the shot in there. Lovely stuff. 75 mil was also firing. What love is though? Gonna be getting pinned down. Some edgy pat assault coming up. These are 13 man squads with HE. They get four submachine guns, probably one of the better HE close range fire support weapons. I do manage to take out one of the 105 mil off maps. I managed to take out the second one there as well. My Panzer Fort does get taken down as it moves forwards, but two kills onto the off map. Really, really nice. Going to take off a lot of pressure that would have otherwise been put on on the right hand side. But things are getting very, very bad for me in the center. Green is pushing very aggressively here. Life girl struggling. And also, Prodos has decided to help out. So he's brought up some of his own infantry and these 20 mil tanks. I'm not really in position to help this very well. And I'm trying to also like maintain my position on the right hand side early on. Because I did do really well and we killed tons of stuff here already. I'm just trying to like branch out from my advantage there. It just wasn't working out too well. My Lovesh Ferdetok is going to be pinned by the Rosjale Assault and also the Turan 2. So my Motakasok would be the unit that I use to engage at close range but doesn't quite work out. My Mod Lovesh though using their bazooka, the Hungarian bazooka, to kill a tank. Very nice. First have we seen of the Hungarian bazooka in the game. Russia Assault do get the pin there. They do have Berettas with the 150 meter range plus the 8 Carabiner and they've also got the Molotovs. Just really really scary close range infantry. A lot of the Romanian infantry is very very tough to deal with in, in a lot of cases. But ME-210s coming in with the bombing strikes, trying to take out the Vernatore de Gada leader. And also get the bombs there onto the Russia Assault. Taking away some of the veterancy will definitely help with engagements moving forwards. Going to be moving up a another Panzerstreck to the right though. As I'm still under a bit of pressure here. I was trying to get this Panzerstreck down so that I could kill the Stug, but it ended up getting spotted and pinned by the Zeb B. So I am getting a little bit picked apart here, whilst also trying to kind of firefight on the left side. <laughs> Bring up a Panzer IV, a couple Panzer IVs now to support that. I've also got a Tiger now moving forwards. Motakasok coming in to provide me with more infantry on the right hand side. And another Tiger there. So this is kind of awkward because they're constantly bringing up more infantry that's better than ours and they're able to continue to contest this heavy cover. So we're going to have to like really over invest to try and take this back and then we need to like control the ranged engagement which I can kind of do with my with my second Panzerlosh but I'm not sure that uh, Noko with the 25th Hadostai has the same sort of benefits from their division. Nice kill though from the Modlovis, again using the bazooka to get another kill. Takes out the Stug there. Takam going to be trying to pin that down in return. And my Modlovis just going to be shrugging that off, moving forwards, taking out the ZB-53 there and that's going to hopefully give me access to that flag and keep things at a 13 to 11. So all I'm trying to do at this point in the game is just try and delay as much as possible so that I can, or well, so that we can get the knife girl back into the game. Our mod Lovis moving up behind the Motakasok. Try and hold there. Nice kill from the mod Lovis with the bazooka taking out one of the transports. The tigers hanging out on the hill. Look at that beautiful view. 
struggling a little bit with the <laughs> with the aiming there. But I do manage to take out the Turan 2 with the help of the Modlovis. That's going to allow the MG34s to continue pinning down some of this infantry that's putting on pressure. I should add my Modlovis here actually move forwards and engage the 20 mil, but look <laughs> at the triple Panzerfaust miss. That's not good. Finally does go down. Meanwhile over here, Echipa Assault coming in. Way too numerous for my Modlovis. Especially for Bonatore Moto, they're providing extra veneracy as well. Pushes me out of that objective. Now my Panzer IV is trying to engage a pack 38 here. I am going to be taking that out. But losing one Panzer IV does make it more difficult for me to push around the corner here and engage any more of the armor that's in position. Motlovis finally die. Still got a decent position on the right hand side. It's buffed up by a couple of Nimrods. I've got the two Panthers here. I've also got my extra infantry that I brought in. I get trying to sit on the hill here and engage the Stugs. Nice kill there as the 75mm finds a side shot. Now I'm looking for the second. Tiger's on point. Very nice couple kills. Doing well. Very much low base. Coming in to help support the centre. Left's not looking too good though, as off map does come down on the knife gal. That's a lot of infantry getting hit there. J87 coming in to bomb. Probably going to be unlikely to get too far, depending on what AA they have. One of my buttons does get taken out, losing me a Mot uh, Motolovis there. Because I was still kind of concentrating on this right side the whole time. Like Lovesfer Delitok, trying to push forwards here to get a recon on the reinforcing roads. Ends up bumping into the Echipa Assault, and now the Grokrutsi are running them down. 81mm mortar in the meantime, going to be trying to pin the Rashidza. The Rashidza are going to pretty much make it impossible for me to continue to push forwards with the Tigers because has such good rate of fire, does have the penetration value it needs to get through the front armor at range. So I can't really push much more. Odloves is going to be pinned down. I do bring in the JU-88 and the two ME410s on the left hand side. JU-88 there, providing just enough distraction for my ME two tens to get out alive. I brought up some Turan twos to help support in the light cover at close range. So not really able to make much ground off the edge of the hill here. Like initially, this was good because you know, I took these two flags, which is the offensive flags that I need to take on the side, but. Pushing any further is really difficult because he's much closer to his reinforcements than I am. Like my reinforcements got to come up here and they've got to take this like left road and then come all the way up and around. Whereas his just go like straight to the battle. So it's a big difference. And also I am losing transports as you can see, which doesn't help. Reshitsa almost goes down to my 75, but not quite. This Reshitsa has managed to sneak up I'm going to try and get some smoke in front of that, but I don't really have much time. And the Tiger's going to be going down. So yeah, since we moved into phase B, I'm assuming that's why he has all of these Reshitsa available. And they're definitely able to shut down the open ground. Turan's now moving over to help assist against the Kadarashi Moto. Managed to pin that one down. Looking for the surrender. Do manage to find it? Tis a tist. In the meantime, moving up to support the Modlovis. We're going to get forced back by the Venatore Moto. Rashidza is covering the edge of that hill now. So the Turan's going to have to fall back. Meanwhile, on the left, things aren't looking too great. That 149mm artillery has a lot of work to do. This Panzertrek trying to sneak forwards to take out the Takam does get destroyed by the enemy infantry of Protoss. I mean, Lovesh for that talk, they're going to have to do a runner as the Venatore Moto and the Echipa Assault 
head towards us. MG42 is able to get some bursts onto the Venatore Moto as they try and retreat. The Mudlovis, though, probably going to end up going down to the edge of assault. Meanwhile, in this forest, there's constant close range engagements. As Protoss does bring in more close range infantry to engage that. Tarantu taking out the Kalashi Moto. I believe these attack beacons were just so that uh, the knife guard could counter battery effectively. Oh, we've got a Zreni looking for the heat round onto the Jagdpanzer. Gonna be missing that second shot and it does go down. One problem with the Hadas Day is you're so reliant on the Zreni. And when you're up against something like a Jagdpanzer, it doesn't help at all. MG34 taking the Anankato de Flacare down there. Very important that I keep the pressure on, or off, I would say, this flag. Motakasa coming up to reinforce. I think the majority of my infantry here. Just really solid at both long range and at short range because you've got basically a MG42 for the ranged engagements and then the HE for the close range, which is why you can see me using those a lot. Right now, a bunch of infantry pushing back in here. Not Love is going to have to fall back. I decided to finally bring in my commander so that I can use that to get more value out of my infantry moving forwards. Also opted to bring in some Mudlaw Vase on the left to help support Knife Girl in these infantry engagements. I've got some Turan 2s on the way as well. Now since these 149s were so close to the spawn road, I actually caused one of my Mudlaw Vase to get unloaded early. ME210 does manage to get a really nice bombing strike in here. Takes out the Rush Yari. Pins down a couple of the other squads. So that worked out really well. We went on the right, 75 more going to be going down. I did lose my Mont Akasok on the far right there as well. My 149 mil artillery is being counter batteried. One of them down full health. And that one going down. Got some Mont Akasok and the Tuzatist heading forwards. This combination will allow the three vet pushing into the trees here. Meanwhile, it's up to the Nimrod to hold back the Infanterist and the Vonetare Moto. These Nimrods are really good close range fire support. Just got to be careful that they don't get hit by enemy AT guns while you're doing this. Fortunately for me, I was able to spot the Reshitsa there with the MG34 for it gone into line of sight. I've also got the Felderito Yarora on the edge of the light cover here, so that's helping a lot. Modlovez managed to kill the Venatari Decade, but they managed to get the HE off, so that dies. I've still got these Motakasok here, but I think because I was zoomed out, I didn't actually see them there for a long time. We're going to be getting this infantry across to the right, as this is the area that seemed to be the most contested. IAR's coming in for the bombing strike onto the MG34, but I've got three Nimrods there, so it's going to be very hard for him to uh, find anything with his aircraft. Modlovis, meanwhile, still pushing forwards. Turan 2 supporting. Did lose one of them on that left side. Turan 2 here. Trying to engage the Pac-38. Motakasok doing a great job again with the MG42. So what would be really good here is like my Tordi 2 with the commander now arriving in the Chaba. This thing is going to allow me to get three star veterancy on all of this infantry. Just get so much more value when that's the case. Good range here actually allows me to engage the Aon and Kanto de Fakari without being able for them being able to fire back. So that was nice. 
So, Edgy Pat Assault versus Mod Akosok. Gonna allow the HE to fly. Gonna be using the fallback. And you can see the damage there way less. I was falling back as well, so that does help. Only trouble with dealing with those Edgy Pat Assault squads is that they do have 14 men, so it's very difficult to actually kill off a squad with one HE. No, it's actually impossible to do so. So they almost always get off both their HE regardless, which is why they're such a strong squad. But against something like a Vonatore Mortal that doesn't have any like, like real close range of it, like capability, the Motakas are going to win every single time. But finally, on the right-hand side, Prodos is going to take out my MG uh, as he pushes forwards with a lot of his infantry. So I am going to lose that flag, and that's going to make it 13 to 11 because like my forces are now spread like the whole way across the map, as you can see. I've got my Nimrod here, got some Turans, got all of my infantry spread out here. I've got some, obviously, infantry on the left with the Turans here as well, trying to support. And that has opened the door for him to put much more aggression on this far right side of the map, which, again, is a lot easier for him to reinforce than myself because his reinforcing road is right here. He can just drive up, reinforce his cover, whereas I've got to go all the way up and around to get there. But ME210 coming in with the bombing strike, looking for the Rokrutsi, looking for the Rashid Tsar. ME210 finding the kill. And I'm also able to turn and gun run the IAR. And there goes the IAR ace. And the MG34 able to continue to pin down these Invantarish and the Rokrutsi. We've also got another Nimrod coming across. We've now got four Nimrods. And those IARs coming in <laughs> definitely going to be in a sorry state if they continue to fly overhead. Not quite able to get the kill though. We managed to find another 60 mil mortar with the low vash talk, which was nice. Got my own 81 mil mortars engaging the Rashidza. And this Nimrod going to be coming around the corner. I do lose one of the Nimrods in the cover. Got the Panther moving round to engage the Takam just to take that out. Nimrod does manage to get in there. On the left, things looking like they're going to start stabilizing a little bit, but we still don't have control of this flag in the center. Like losing the flag on the right hand side, I'm going to have to try and take that back with the Motaka Sok. And, but meanwhile, the Takam is kind of sitting in an annoying position where my Panther can't quite get line of sight. Yet it can still provide fire support onto something like my MG34 or even this Motaka Sok unit. But I'm two. Finding the 2 2 2 kill. Very nice. We got the artillery. Wars continuing. So my infantry engagements, like overall, weren't going too bad. Like whenever I was bumping into like one of the high class R Romanian units, and of course I'm going to lose. But against like the Vunatoli Moto, against Infanterist, it's not too bad. But when you bump into like Rosiale Assault or or Echipa Assault. That's when things start to get a bit difficult. But here I'm just kind of like cycling my Motaka Sok to move forwards, throw a HE and then move back. Only trouble with doing that is the Infanterist. They do actually put down a decent amount of DPS at close range. Because they have the ZB, that's an automatic rifle that can fire at close range. And they've also got the Orita, so... It's, uh... Not ideal. Hello, Vashra Deritok. I'm going to go down on the right side finally. And I also lost my infantry here before it unloaded because it got spotted and the attack cam shot it. This is why you should press Y when left clicking your unit when it comes in. So you left click the unit you want to bring in, infantry unit, press Y and then click on the map where you want it. That way it comes in with an unloaded position order, which is really handy it means that units don't just sit in their transports when they arrive. 
another mud lovis coming under fire there moving up my panther though to engage the Takam this time and then taking that out is going to allow my mud lovis to get up there so still maintaining control on the right hand side just trying to take back control on the left hand side so 12 to 12 across the map now things are starting to stabilize Motakasach engaging the Infanterist finish off the Infanterist on the right IAR is going to be coming in with the bombing strikes looking for my Panther and again four Nimrods on the field here Definitely going to be causing the pain. Now there's a Reshitza over on the right hand side. So my Panther is going to have to do a runner. And I'm going to get my artillery to try and shoot that. Also managed to shoot down one of those IAR bombers. So I was pretty happy about that as well. Turn two, trying to get into the light cover here to provide fire support against enemy infantry. And also these light armoured units. Altarkasok being forced back because of those 20 mils. The Toldi, with the 20 mil, can actually get through those two 59s, so it's not too bad. I mean, my Moturin's here just kind of skirting around the edge of the heavy cover in the light cover. We find shots onto enemy infantry. The Jagpans are there. Or might even have been the Vickers took a shot and took that out. My model of this on the right side going to be bumping into Kalashi. Not good for them at all. But I do still have the Turan 2. And that's able to hold the ground here for the time being. Still sitting on the 12 to 12. Got my Motaka Sok moving up to try and clean out this flag. But one thing that is a trouble with this division is. It only has seven cards of infantry. So we are now like 40 minutes into the game, well into phase C. And I'm going to be starting to get low on infantry. So you might see me be a lot more conservative with the amount of infantry that I bring in at once. And you'll see me supplementing that with more armor so that I can balance my forces a little bit better moving on for the rest of the game. Let's turn on two here. It does find a nice transport snipe. Can't really engage the Sereni very well. As the Sereni wipes out my infantry squad. But I've got good recon here, at least. You can see both of the Reshidza and the Pak 38. I'm going to be using my 81mm mortars to engage those. Meanwhile, my 149mm further back does get taken out, leaving my poor tractor all on its lonesome. Panzerfort does go down as it tries to push up on this right hand side. Ideally I should have had my Veldelitor Yoror further up with the uh, Motakasach, but I think the, the Reshitsa is still here so it probably just killed that. 75 mil manages to find a nice snipe there and the Reshitsa does go down to my 81 mil mortars so happy with that. If I can take out these Reshitsa he's going to have a limited amount of them. Once they're all gone, they're gone. And then I can be a lot more aggressive from that point forwards. But the Rashid Sar moving forwards here does force me to move my Panther backwards. Panzer IV going to be replacing the one on the right hand side. So Motakasak, Modloves working together to take back this flag. JU-88 though coming in with the 250 kilogram bombs going to make things very difficult in one on the right hand side the Rakshutsi finish off one of my Mot Akasok look at that bombing strike very nice it's the infantry perfectly Nimrod's trying its best to shoot it down doesn't manage to do so JU-88 again being very strong probably should have brought in Another Nimrod there on the left hand side, but was definitely under a lot of pressure. Yagpans are there going to get taken out by the Reshitsa. Yeah, 
thing's just very, very tough. Because I'm kind of still having to play the right side and then support in the mid and left. ME210 coming in with the 200 or two, 250 kilogram bombs. I can take out some of these support weapons. The ME210 does take out the 50 mil, so that was good. I've got some mod Lovis now moving in again to help secure this flag. But that's some Roshari Assault. That's not what you want to bump into. Although it looks like they might be out of Molotovs. So the Hegi able to get theirs grown. And able to push the Roshari Assault out. So that's good. Meanwhile, 81 mil mortars going to be finishing off the Reshita in the open. So then two finds and kills off the Kalarashi on the right hand side. I'm going to be bumping into some uh, Invanterist. <coughs> Excuse me, with the Lovesh Verderitok. So that is good as well. Overall on that right side, I was able to get a lot of work done. A lot of my engagements were very favourable. I think Prados was having a bit of a hard time with the 9th Infanterie. We're finally able to start clearing out, trying to find the 13th flag once again. Because we are just about ahead in tickets at the moment. But there's 17 minutes, 50 seconds left on the clock. So all can change still. We managed to push them off this flag finally. Just got to really get control of this ridge again. Echipa Assault also getting taken out. Motakos are going to be engaging the Vunatori Moto, looking to kill those off. 81 mil mortars also going to be helping with that. Recruits to go down. Give me back that tree line. Turan 2 in the meantime. Dealing with these infanterish well. But I do lose my infantry squad on the right. And that's going to mean that he's going to be able to put pressure on this flag again. Ideally I should have just had an infantry squad that hid in this building. Just put them on like return fire or whatever. And yeah he has a lot of Kalarash here so he probably would have found it eventually but... At least it allows me to hold the flag for a little bit longer. Dorantu <laughs> going to try its best against the Stug, but <laughs> really not going to end very well there. It gets taken out. What I need here is a bazooka or a Panzer Shrek. Uh, meanwhile, on the left, Roshare still getting cleaned out with the help of my Dorantu. These are just such good close range infantry fire support tanks in this like light cover environment. It's really, really nice. I've also got a tiger that's moving up to cover the center. I was hoping to be able to take out the Jagdpanzer there and uh, the other armor. Now that the Reshitar are gone, I'm actually being quite aggressive now with my tigers. My Lovash Feather Ritok is here. I am able to see like enemy AT guns, so I'm bringing up the Mord Lovis. Going to be resecuring this flag. My tiger here does get line of sight on Tereshitsa. I don't think I spotted that early on. Because I would be probably mortaring it with my 81mm mortar straight away if I had seen it. And there we go. Finally see that engagement happening. Can be falling back. Motakasak moving on to Kalarashi and all of my 81 mil mortars immediately going to be told to engage the Reshitsa. Although, for some reason, I might have accidentally cancelled that. <laughs> IAR goes down on the left hand side. Nimrod's doing a good job. I did bring up the second Nimrod there as I was trying to stop those JU 88s uh, from being a problem. Meanwhile, 20 mil fire support from the AB Hodge with the Vernatore Moto and the Stug. Be able to do a good job. Valderito Yorora actually getting spotted here. Which means that he did have some recon closer up. Tiger's trying to do its best to help. Protoss has kind of like changed tack. Like he has been obviously pushing in here with his, his close range infantry. He's now pushing this section to try and grab these two flags. Now she's uh, managed to kill it off with the Mod Akasok. Really, really good kill for me. That was just from where I'd like mortared it before but not actually got the kill. 
Now my JU88 coming into the mid. Going to be realising there's not really much in the way of AA there. My tank's able to pick off a lot of those 20 mil units. So Panzer IV is coming over the ridge. Here we've got the Panther coming up the road with the Turan II. Got the Tiger firing across. I just need some extra infantry in here. But I was definitely struggling for infantry availability at this point. Right, on the right hand side, Rashid Saz moves all the way up. Lovash Ferdidotok going to have to run away from the Kalarashi. Lovash Ferdidotok in the mid get killed. The screen continues the push with the Kalarashi Moto and the AB Hodge. ME210s though coming in for the bombing strikes. Talan 2 does go down. I don't have the recon in the church anymore, so it's pretty rough. And another artillery piece back here, but this one going down. Their uh, counter battery was definitely better than ours throughout. Panzer Fort going to get taken on by the Stug. Does go down. Meanwhile, my Panther going to get shot at by another Reshitsa. Does take penetration. Going to have to back that off. Things not looking good. If I can't get enough infantry up, then I'm having problems because they're going to have plenty left. One thing that's really nice about the... Uh, units that they have is they're going to have plenty of infantry like it's the 9th infantry so you'd expect them to have a lot of infantry and the 8th cavalry potata also has a decent amount whereas the second pancelosh it's an armored unit so definitely lacking in the infantry department well not necessarily in quality though which is quite nice and the quality of the infantry in this division is actually really good it's just overall numbers is always going to be less than that of a Infantry unit. The Lovash Feather, they talk, get taken out on the right hand side. I've got the Model of Ace coming in here. They're going to be set to run across and try and take back that tree line. They don't really have any like close range capability. Like most of my Motaka sock at this point were used up. Stug moves up, kills off my Foldy. Now I'm going to push back with the Tuzatist and the Motaka Sok though. The plan here is to basically use the Tuzatist to take the initial fire from the unit and then the Motaka Sok can get the grenade off. But it didn't really work how I intended. My Bazooka though, able to kill the um, Panzer IV. And I also managed to get the Stug, so that was really good. We got both. The Kalarashi going to be running me down. But with those both gone, I'm going to take the opportunity to move up the Nimrod. Now that I should start of Plotos engaging my Panther. Let's get one penetration in there to the test force back on this left side as well. As, again, no more infantry support. Can we bring up some more Mod Loves? I've got like one unit of Motakasok there. This is maybe my last one. I was definitely extremely low on infantry at this point. Still just about holding on for the 1311. As my model of this, try and push across the open here. The Kalareshe opening up. And if there's one thing that the Romanian divisions have in abundance, it's definitely the Kalareshe. <laughs> like every division, every single one of the new divisions has Kalareshe available. Zreni getting taken out there by this off map. My infantry getting absolutely slammed. Not good news. Nimrod's going to be able to stop the IAR at least. As it comes in to try and bomb my units. That are trying to hold this town. Motaka Sok did get taken out in the close range there. 12 to 12 with 9 minutes 45 seconds remaining. But only just about holding on to that flag. So now I've got my Nimrods quite far up, mainly because they are 
one of the primary ways for me to deal with enemy infantry now. 81 mil mortars here. Going to be looking for another Reshitsa kill. I'm going to be able to protect Knife Girl's JU-87 as it comes in for a bombing strike. I even managed to shoot it down. Nimrods are very, very good. The 149 mil artillery just constantly bombarding this tree line so that this model obvious doesn't even have to fight. JU 88s in the meantime coming into the mid. They're going to take a lot of fire from the Nimrods and also from these trucks here. These are the new trucks. <laughs> <laughs> that are really wacky. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we managed to shoot down one of them at least. So that wasn't too bad. ME 210s coming in with the bombing strikes onto the Kadashimoto. Just want to try and clean out the edge of this hill. Finally, my Panther goes down the right though to the Reshitsa. With the Kadashimoto pinned. I was hoping to be able to push forward something, but my Motolovis were a little bit too close for comfort. Now I've just got my Panzer IV, oh sorry, Panther, covering this open ground. I've got the Nimrod there as well. But I'm slowly but surely being whittled down. Nimrod, look how close up I have that now. To provide infantry support. Same deal here. Super important that I use them to help me out because I need to keep the infantry alive where I can. I'm actually there, able to get their Panzerfaust off. That's my Nimrod changed target. Since the 20 mil moved up. Yeah, it caused the Nimrod to change. Tigers. Looking for their engagements. One on the Stug, one on the Rashare. No more infantry for me for this town. Just got Panzerfors now on the way to help cover at a distance in the center. Another Motakasa coming in. Another Panzer IV. You can see just how much investment I'm putting into the armor now instead of infantry. I am able to find the machine gun fire onto that unit though, but there's another full strength squad ready to push me back. And I'm also being shot at by this Panzer IV, so <laughs> things not looking great. 13 to 11. In favour of our opponents with 6 minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. What a game this has been. Another fantastic Hungarian versus Romanian duel. Well, up. Trying to pin down these units whilst the Hegi Lovis move forwards. We've got my Mot Akasok on the way. Got a Panzer IV moving to the right hand side. Also starting to rely quite a lot on these mortars, as you can see, to pin down enemy units. I should have been doing this more throughout, I think. It's like continuously using these 81mm mortars just to help my infantry availability. Because the best way to beat infantry that's better than yours is just to pin it down. Again, Nimrod coming in hot here. <laughs> just driving straight up with his 40 mil to support at close range, just like I was doing with the Turans. Get it nice and close. Find shots there onto the Kalareshi. Take them out nice and quick. Because we've got the two vet as well. Nice and accurate. Easy peasy. So the Montakasok just move forward, spot it. Nimrod, fire away. Kill them off nice and quickly. Montakasok. Do find the Roshare on that flag. So I'm going to be finding the Kalareshi Moto here. Force them back. Lovely stuff. 
Nimrod versus 20 mil. Takes it out. And on the right, the Mod Lovis did make it across. But the two Rukhutsi, they're going to be able to force that back. Also, the Nimrod does get taken out by the Reshitsa. There was just a little bit too many of the Reshitsa in the end for me to deal with. We did kill quite a few of them. Not quite enough. It's probably like six total. We probably killed like three or four. At least of uh, Protoss's. And then maybe we killed like a couple of Greens. Green also has like four or six, <laughs> I should say, as well. So, yeah, still a ways to go. And you can see that also at this point, Knife Girl was relying on Feldele Toriyoror to be fighting close range. So, that's not good, obviously. Um, my commander was in a bit of a bad spot there. What I'm trying to do is get my Nimrod to move forwards and engage the Stug. That allows my AT gun to get a side shot on the Stug as it faces the Nimrod. And my Bazooka on the left hand side kills the other Stug. And now with both of those dead, the Nimrods are free to shoot all the infantry, so that was the plan. My Tiger here getting forced back by the Kavarashi charging me down. And I'm getting shot in the side by the Reshitsa from over here. <laughs> this Tiger up on the hill manages to get the kill at least. Now two more TAs, the Nimrod gets crew killed. Yeah, I'm just completely falling apart. 13 to 11. No infantry to control the close range engagements. Means no like AT that can threaten the tanks and therefore his tanks can just drive forwards. And uh, I don't really have much to, to stop him anymore. Like I have my Panthers early on to support my infantry early on. And so it doesn't leave me with much availability in the late game. And that's what you're seeing right now. So ME210 looking for the bombing strike there onto the Stug, but that one going to be going down. Now I've got the, ME the BF109s coming in with strafing runs. Looking to finish off the Venatori Moto there, take away some of the leadership. Managed to bomb the TA, and as it falls back, get the kill. So yeah, Nimrod doing well. I think in general, like, the Nimrods did do pretty well, but that's four Stugs heading its way. And I got its work cut out. There's like even more coming up on the left hand side of Zavini. The Jagdpanzer. Nimrod does go down. Tried its best. We've got loads of bazooka squads coming in. And I was going to make a little play here. See if I could kind of save the day. Make sure we don't lose too badly. I'm going to smoke up the road. And rush up with the bazookas. It's like the only player that I've got left. <laughs> with one minute left on the clock. Running away with my commander. Getting my bazooka in position. Unfortunately, a couple of these TAs do break through the smoke. It unloads the first two. But the second two, able to get quite far up. This one, right in the smoke there. Able to kill one Stug. Looking for the second Stug. <laughs> it just gets crazier at the end. That one going down. Let's take out that one. 81 more mortars being strafed to death. <laughs> Just trying to sneak around in the smoke. But he's bringing up infantry as well. Unfortunately, my BF 109 gets shot down. JU 88's having trouble. I'm actually bringing up my JU 88's to shoot down the AAR with their rear guns, but <laughs> that's going to be game. And after 60 minutes, it's a minor defeat. As our opponents did end up taking a lot of flags there at the end. I just kind of ran out of stuff. But in the end, 7,587 kills to 6,360 losses. Still ended up going positive. Just Knife Girl had a bit of a hard time on the left side. And uh, it meant that by the end of that game, I was just, I was just out of stuff. <laughs> that was pretty much it.
but yeah, some of my units doing fantastic, uh, particularly early on. Getting the uh, two ME210s to bomb the mortars was really, really good. Um, well, one of them bombed the mortar, and then the Motlovis took out the other two. That was really nice. My uh, Ace Panther here got plenty of kills. Uh, the Panzer IV did well. The Motakasok trading very, very well. These Motakasok units are really strong. Nimrod getting plenty of air kills plus ground kills. So that's always nice to see. The Tigers supported me well from the ridge. And the 149 there killing two Reshitsa, uh, three Reshitsa from those. So let's just, should we count the Reshitsa quickly? Uh, we'll have to just look at artillery units. So that was the 149s. So they killed three Reshitsa. Another nice Motaka sock there. Turan 2s as well. So did really good at close range. And that's another one. So that's like four. The infantry Shtrkotsi are all going down there. That Motaka sock killed another Reshitsa. So that's like five total. Counter battery no B there. Yeah, we killed like five total of the Reshitsa. So they probably had like another six left or seven left total. Um, but we definitely, uh, maybe there was more than that. It, it really depends what phase they bring them in. If they bring them in like phase B and C, then you end up with a lot more. You end up with like 10 in the deck. So they could have had like a total of 20 if they do B and C. Uh, but yeah, anyway, really good game. Showed off a lot of the new units. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Okay,